before you watch this video I don't want you to have the impression from me that I'm trying to profit profiteer on local on the local events that is not the case actually so I'm, I'm uh, that's why I'm putting this idea out in the domain of the public because I think it is worth considering how people should probably feel going forward when we step out of this 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 current problem we have with the virus um, it just made me think of how we tend to to live when we go through common public places in the western world compared with how many people go through it in in the far east in china so let me be clear this video is not a video where i'm trying to make money i'm not what i'm trying to do here is put thoughts in your minds as to shouldn't this be something we should be adopting as part of our culture when we go out into the into the world have a look at this video cheers I'm not available at the moment. Uh, kindly leave your name and number and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Hi there. When you finish recording, please hang up or press the hash key for more options. Hi there. It's only me. Um, not urgent, not important. Um, I'm out going out just now, so don't, don't worry calling me back. I, I uh, just had an idea with um, which I thought you should share with Paul. Um, that is face, you know, face masks um, with the football clubs on them, Premiership football clubs, under license, of course. So Liverpool have their face mask, and uh, Arsenal have their face mask, and so on. Um, they can be made up, ready for the s when the season goes back, and supporters start going back into the grounds. Obviously, people will want to be still conscious of um, when they're out and about and I think it should be something possibly for the future as well so football face masks um, that could be purchased at the grounds or from the relevant club uh, memorabilia areas but uh, I think it's I think it's worth doing I think Paul's buyer could get into it and start making it happen straight away cheers the subject i want to talk about today is masks protective masks masks that uh, various types disposable masks and more sort of user-friendly masks that can be washed and reused ongoing uh, this particular one is is a, is a disposable mask um, which is which is used fairly frequently in the in the NHS. But let's think about masks. Um, people in the in the Far East um, would wear face masks or do wear face masks ongoing in when they go about their business in the streets in. China in Shanghai or Beijing or Chongqing or wherever or even places like Thailand in, in Bangkok you see lots of people wearing face masks riding their bikes around the cities etc um, most people in those cultures wear the mask to protect other people they wear the mask when because they don't want to give somebody else a cold actually that's that's why they they wear masks so they're not wearing masks so much for protecting themselves but they're wearing the mask to protect others um, I think a lot of people in our country 
at the moment are wearing masks as they see it as protecting themselves and they wear it as a means of comfort to ensure they're not getting picking picking anything up from others around them so there's a little bit of, a, of an understanding of the culture of that now, I'm not saying everybody in China wears the mask to to protect others I mean they they are some people do wear them so that, that it, they don't get uh, carbon monoxide in their in their lungs fully you know it's so that because they're out on the street and they're, they're they're protecting them their faces for that as well but majority in the far east they that's why they wear the mask if they if someone's got a cold and they're sneezing they frown upon that and and they haven't got a mask on they they they, they those people get get um can get verbally abused by by their by their fellow citizens over there so that's the the reason for the mask wearing in 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 the far east um i think as a culture with with the in our country and in europe generally with uh, coronavirus bringing it to the to the to the front of our minds now i think um it's like washing your hands on a more regular basis i think we um have probably been a little bit flippant in terms of that type of uh, detailed hygiene let's call it I think we tend to yeah we all shower regularly we all wash ourselves regularly we all think we we follow good hygiene standards and we do in, 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 ge in general respects but we've never really gone to the point of concerning ourselves too much with about getting on a crowded bus or getting on a crowded train um, most of us just do it second second nature i think the the cultural change that could well take place as we go through this process we will become a little bit more conscious of who we're standing next to who we're sitting next to and how can we show that we are out to protect them as much as, as so that you know we are safe to sit next to because we have we are wearing a mask that's that's the the logic of what i'm thinking because it's not so much about protecting ourselves as protecting others and as these as the as the laws relax in the uk and things start to filter back to normal or a normal a normal which isn't really here at the moment i think masks will become a common piece of um, equipment clothing whatever we want to call it that we will wear um, going forward particularly in crowded locations football matches concerts um, exhibition centers uh, and so on riding on public transport um, riding on trains places where you want to show you are you are you are there and you're conscious of your fellow citizens around you and you want to show that you're there to to show them respect and, and that's that's the logic of this concept now masks come in various types shapes the very there's the disposable ones where you can buy packs of 20 30 or more permanent ones where you can where they have um, removable filtration inside them the same sort of material inside them they're more fabric um, um, made with a filter that's that's of this nature which can get changed on a regular basis um, but they can be branded in such ways they can be branded for football clubs they can be branded for various other clubs um, they can be branded for trade exhibitions they can be personally branded they can just have uh, uh, kids school brands on them university brands on them uh, airline brands on them um, fashion brands on them and so on and you know they could even become a form of advertising for that matter when it comes to advertising uh, material so they have there's a concept that can be developed and used i think it's 
something which has the potential of putting people first uh, going forward as we come out of the coronavirus pandemic and I think a charitable organization would benefit very very well from being part of a program of of this nature in 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 making masks so for every mask that is bought um, a percentage of the purchase price goes to the charity and that in itself then is putting money back into charitable institutions that could be for example protect, protecting the families that were affected by coronavirus over the last over the over the months but developing it forward and going forward in, in terms of being more user friendly for people in public places public transport um, as I've mentioned football matches exhibitions where crowds are gathering in, 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 um, in where it's unavoidable this is an opportunity I think for people to adopt uh, a something of this nature which I think has got potential going forward interesting to hear your thoughts cheers